Hey guys, and welcome to another monthly makeup video. I'm living for this look. It is like my go-to. These are products that I'm literally like, I use every single day. I'm obsessed with them, and I'm so excited to show you guys them because I feel like you will love them as well. This is a very natural, everyday kind of look with a little bit of flair, spice. It is in collab with Lancome and YSL, but I've already been using the products before it was in collab with them, so I already love them. So the first product that I'm gonna use is this. I am in love with this. I actually bought this myself before I was gifted it by Lancome, and it is the Lancome Skin Feels Good Perfector Hydrating Skin Tint Healthy Glow, and then this is just amazing. It's paraben-free, oil-free. It's basically like a kind of like tinted moisturizer kind of product, but this is honestly the best one I've ever used. And I'm in the color Almond. 035W. This thing just goes on so smoothly and it feels amazing on your skin all day long. Like it is honestly the best. It's not like a full, full coverage product, but if you're looking more just to like even out your skin tone or if you fake tan like me where you need to color match your skin better to your body, I would recommend this times a billion. It's also just perfect for the season that we're going into right now, spring slash summer, because it is just so lightweight. It literally feels like nothing, like nothing, guys. Like, it's incredible. Like, look how much better that looks. And like, it's still like glowy and healthy, and it literally looks, I'm not even joking you, like a second layer of skin. I love it. Now we're gonna move on to concealer. So the concealer I've been loving recently is this one. It is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Concealer. I use the shade Fair Light Warm because I only apply this underneath my eyes. So I basically just apply it right into that inner corner because that's where I am the darkest, is right inside my inner corners like that. And then I just kind of apply it like a bit lower. I don't try and get it too close to my under eyes because I feel like that's when it gets a little, I crease a lot, which I don't like. So I apply it like this, and then again, taking my beauty blender, I just blend this into the skin, and this will just like brighten up my under eyes. As you can see, I look way more alive now on this side. And this blends out super, super well. It's a really creamy concealer. As you can see, it wasn't really a liquid. It's like in a, a stick form. Before I've had ones like that, and I didn't like them, but this one I'm really, really a big fan of. It blends out so well, and it covers so well too. And now we're gonna stick with the cream products. So what I'm gonna do is go in with the Fenty Beauty Matte Stick. This is in the shade Mocha. And when I'm doing a very creamy look, I like to use cream products. So I'm just gonna take this underneath my cheekbone area and kind of like up. And then using just this brush, I don't know, this is, this is the brush I use, it's covered in foundation. I just blend this into the skin and that'll just provide a really, really nice, natural contour. And cream products are really great when you want a more natural look. And with my Beauty Blender after, and just pat along the line to make the blend a little bit more seamless, I suppose. I suppose you could say that. <laughs> So now what we're gonna do is go in with a little bit of blush. I'm just gonna use the Pixi um, Plus Chloe Morello palette. I really like this, the blushes in this palette. I find it really hard to open this though, especially because I don't have any nails. And I'm just gonna go into that first peachy shade that's right there. It is in the color Promise, I believe. Promise. And I'm just gonna pick some of that up on my Sigma Duo Fiber Powder Blush brush and just apply a bit onto our like cheeks and up just to give a little bit of a peachy glow. Now I'm going in with another product by Lancome. This one is new. I have three shades here, and I'm kinda gonna play around with them, I think. So these are the custom drops. So I have the custom highlight drop. This is in the color Golden Glow. I have the custom strobing drop drop in the color Champagne Glow. And then I have the custom sculpting drop in the color Bronze Glow. I'm gonna go in first with Bronze Glow, I believe, and just I'm gonna just apply some onto the back of my hand because I don't wanna apply too much onto my skin. So I'm just applying some right there. It is really shimmery, so I don't wanna apply like too much of it. But using this, I'm just going to use my Beauty Blender and pat it into the skin just to kind of bronze up our forehead area. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm gonna go in with the strobing drops. So these are in the ones that are in that champagne color. And I'm gonna apply this onto my cheekbones. And I'm gonna mix a bit of this one in too, I think. I think I'm just gonna mix them together. I feel like that'll give me the color that I want. And then just taking a bit more, we're gonna apply it on our cupid's bow to really highlight that area on the tip of our nose. Well, just really the whole bridge of our nose. And I'm also just gonna take a bit of it onto my finger and I'm gonna apply it onto my lids. So I apply it in the inner corner and then also just on the lids. So that's just a super, super natural look. I have no powder on my face, but I am going to powder a little bit. So I'm just taking, this is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. So just a drugstore one. And I'm going to use a little pad thing that I have in here. And I'm just going to just pack some of that just right under my eye because that's really where I crease a lot. And then I'm also just going to apply it right on the sides of my nose because I get the most oily there. A bit on the chin and then a bit in the middle of the forehead. Now moving on to our eyebrows. I've been using just this product every single day. This is the Hourglass Arch Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel in the color Blonde. And this has been, I'm not even joking, my go-to. So all I do is just brush it through my eyebrows. And it kind of like fills them in and also just shapes them where you want the hairs to go. But it's such a natural look. Like it just looks like eyebrows. Like it keeps all the hairs separated and it really just gives you that fluffy brow look so if that's the kind of look that you want to have I would recommend this times a billion I also like it because it kind of tints my eyebrows just a little bit lighter which I like since my hair is blonde now I don't want to have like super super dark eyebrows so this kind of just tints them a bit more blonde and then just holds them exactly where I want them which I mean what more could a girl ask for right now I'm gonna do my eyelashes. I've been back using the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. I forgot how much I love this mascara. It is literally the best. And all I do is curl my eyelashes and apply it onto my eyebrows. My eyebrows. <laughs> my eyelashes. And that's literally been my eye makeup. Like I don't do anything. I don't know what happened to me, but I've become so lazy and this is just like all I do. But you know what I'm living for? It's quick, it's easy, it's simple. This is literally like a fast makeup tutorial. And if I wasn't talking, I'm telling you I could get this done in 10 minutes. And I do only apply it on the upper lashes. I feel like that really just opens up my eyes and lifts them and gives me that very like bright eyed look. While if I put on my lower lashes, I feel like it kind of makes my eyes look a little bit smaller. So I like just to apply it on my upper lashes to open up my eyes. Okay, so now at this point, we can go one of two ways. We can either do a chapstick. On the daily, chapstick. That's what I wear on my lips. But for today, I'm gonna spice it up a bit. I'm gonna be using the YSL Volupt Liquid Color Balm. This one is in the color, I don't really know. It doesn't have the color, but it's like this really pretty orangey shade. It says 62P806. I'll have the name of it on the screen here so you guys know exactly what the color is called. But it's this really cool, like corally orange shade. And you can blend these out to be like super sheer or you can make them a little bit more opaque. So what I'm gonna do is just keep it sheer and just give myself a really pretty coral lip. And what I love about these is that how nourishing they are on your lips. It just feels like a tinted balm. Like it's like moisturizes them. It's so comfortable to wear. It's like the perfect just flush of color but it's so nourishing. And if you have dry lips like me, that'll be your best friend. Your best friend, literally. So that is the makeup complete. And now to just finish off this little get ready with me, I'm just gonna apply some perfume because, you know, nobody wants to smell bad. We wanna smell like a bouquet of enticing floral beautifulness. This perfume is one that I lusted over for so long. Like when this first came out, the, this is by the way, the YSL Black Opium. When this first came out, I was like, I need this in my life. I need it. We're just gonna spritz some. Oh. But yeah, this perfume smells amazing. It kind of has like a citrus undertone, but it's also got a really big like warmth to it. It's very warm, which I love. And it's definitely like just an all around fragrance. All of my friends who smell this absolutely adore it and want to have it themselves. So like, like it's so good. So yeah, if you guys are looking for a good fragrance, this is one of my current favorites. So I would definitely recommend that. But anyways, that is my entire video. I hope you guys enjoyed this month's monthly makeup, hashtag monthly makeup. 
Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on all my social medias. I really want to get to 30,000 on Instagram before my birthday on April 23rd. So if you're not already following me on Instagram, I'd really appreciate it if you gave me a follow. My name will be on the screen again. It probably was already on the screen, but again. So yeah, I'd really appreciate if you guys give me a follow on there. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.